Hello everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, this is episode 3 of No Man's Land, and we are currently going back to the farm, um, we got a, you know, a bigger front end loader, that allows us to go, wow, we can actually go a lot higher, holy crap, um, and I've been considering on getting duels or wider tires or maybe some weights for the back end of this tractor um hold on I'm gonna stop off right here really quick so I can we're gonna see if we can't get a garage thing I don't think it's under the farmhouses no, it's not. Uh, tools, that's what it'll be under. Vehicle workshop for this place is nine grand, but we also have... Oh, where is it? I know I have it. It's a mod. Ah, oh, there it is. Thousand dollars. But we could get this one for nine grand. Uh, this one kind of looks, yeah, it's way undersuited to be one. So, we're going to see how fast we can get down to field, what is it, or er, plot 26? Yes, plot 26. We'll have our vehicle workshop right here at the edge of the farm. And we'll go down there and we'll see if we can't get some bigger, some weights on the back or something. You know, because I'm, I've got these little spindles that are sitting out in the open right now and it doesn't look that, uh, that nice. If we get twins, that'll be, uh, that'd be a little bit much for the back. Customize. Be nice to have that weight. But thing is, If we can, oh, wow. What is in it? That's $2,800. Now give me rear twins and not front twins. So, 
I mean, it's a good idea. Hmm. I have to do it. <laughs> it just falls apart. It's like. Now that we got all the equipment we need. Ooh, there's some trees right along here. I'm gonna start chopping all these trees down. Oh crap, I forgot to set my timer again. Need to see what he said. Oh, I will actually. How much is this way? Oh, it's lighter than the trees. I should probably. Yeah, right about there. Here we go. Come here. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yes. Okay, now then. We need to just uh, take and... Me. Mm -hmm. Okay, now then. To grab this apparently super long tree wow that's actually pretty long um we'll cut this one down too If I can't, or about there. There we go. All right. Now that we got the smaller trees out of the way, it's time to start dropping these ones. This would a uh, yeah twenty four meter tree. Average height ones go up through here, delimbing it. Let's see if we can't cut off the very tip, and then we'll cut the tree right about here. And 
We'll cut it right about here. Alrighty, I will be back. Um, I'm gonna go get some food and stuff, so... I will see you guys in like a few minutes for me. It'll be like a second to you guys, so... Yeah. Okay, everybody, we are back. Um, so, I kind of had a slight problem while I was off screen. I'm not going to speak about it. But, enough said. Um, let's see, there is... Okay, so this log right here, if I cut it right about there... Yeah, that's just where it needs to be in the uh, weight department, so we'll take and pull and we'll set this right there minus that part um Alright, so, now that that's all taken care of, we should be able to cut this, hmm, I should probably move my tractor. I don't know why I've been farming simulator like 17 and 15 both of them they were it was really easy to like do the uh do the forestry but whenever 19 came out the forestry just got complicated the controls changed and they got it more complicated and I'm like okay that's when I decided to leave forestry behind Oh, we'll cut that right there off. Hold on a second. So, we'll take and grab these two at the tractor. I wonder how much cultivator would cost. Let's see. Twelve grand. And that's within my horsepower range. Okay, so that's in the field creator section. That one is. And they just go up in horsepower rating, which I can't help that. Oh well. Um. Let's see. I need to find something that's within the horsepower range that I need. Power Harrow. 
subswiller. That ain't big enough. Spader. Ooh. But the problem is, you know, the speed. Um, mulchers. I don't know if. Yeah, they don't allow. These will be nice for whenever I go to do uh, the like actual crop, the arable crops, but they're not really useful right now. We have plows, I know that, but the plow that I want to use. Yeah, the horse pirating. Ooh, I forgot. I do have that one right there. Now, if I could just get a tractor that has enough horsepower to pull one of these. Not that one. That one. Or that one. If I could just get one a tractor that has 170 horsepower, we could actually get, you know, a 5.7 meter chisel. And people are probably wondering, why do you use chisel plows? reason behind it is, you know, like the regular, these are American plows, and they're a lot easier to plow with. That's why I have cultivators that, you know, do the plow, that, you know, I have the field creator mod on too, because they actually work a lot better for plowing. They're more like, um, in a sense, they're more American, and us Americans, we like to, you know, get regular plows we like to okay hold on I need to but us Americans we don't really use you know those slanted plows we use the chisel type plows you know we like doing squares that way we can actually you know that way we're not, you know, going into our neighbor's, you know, farms, you know, going through fences and stuff. Square is a lot easier for us to, you know, figure out where we're at with our, uh, with, like, our equipment and stuff. Um. That, you know, nobody likes using a plow. Trying to use a plow to make a field is... You know, like the slanted plows is ridiculous. It's us Americans can't do that. We we like to well we could, but it's just more it's just a lot more work into it. Us Americans we use the chisel type plows. It's a lot easier for us to make a field with that. <laughs> Which, Farming Simulator needs to honestly start adding in chisel plows, and not just the slanted plows. Because the slanted plows, they're okay, but they're just, they, it's just not, it's, it, it just doesn't have that American look. The American look is like chisel plows and stuff. There we go. Okay, the backing up speed on this tractor is just horrible. I'm not even for sure if this tractor is four wheel assist or not, or front wheel assist or not. If it's front wheel drive or four wheel drive or, or front wheel assist or if it's just a two wheel drive, which in this case it's technically four wheel drive. Thanks to, you know, rear duels. Let's see. 
It looks like it's front wheel assist. Oh yeah, she's a front wheel assist. You can tell by the U joints right there. You can tell that it's front wheel assist by the U joints it has right up against the tire. <clears throat> Which I'm pretty sure it has in the back too. Or not. I I'm not a it looks like a front wheel assist to me. I'm no tractor expert. Tell me. Uh for those of you who know this tractor, the John Deere 6300. Tell me if this is a front wheel assist tractor or if it's just a regular two wheel drive or four wheel drive or what it is. Alright, I was trying to get this to pop down in there, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening, so it's alright. We'll still get quite a bit of money out of the, you know, logs that we do get, so let's see, I believe there was one more over here. Yes, there is. Okay, we'll cut this tree down. Y'all are probably wondering why I'm using a Johnson Red in the game. And I explained it in my live stream, but I'll explain it here too. Um, so the reason I like to use the Johnson Red Chainsaw is because, I mean in regular life it cost way too much money. But, the thing with the Johnson Red Chainsaw is, or John Stewart, or however you want to pronounce it, you know, this is a Swedish brand, it's a, one of the brands of Husqvarna, the Husqvarna makes, um, 
but it does really good at getting these limbs off of here and it does really good at chopping the trees down and you know it does really good at it does like everything that I want to do on the game it's good at chopping the trees down you know cutting the trees into logs getting the tops done I mean it does it all so I just figured I'd use this and you know it does good at it all instead of just you know professional you know being a professional in one department so I said I'll just use this um let's see if I can't cut it off right there there we go Okay, so that tree, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut down like a few more of these. I'm probably gonna cut this one, this one, and I'll probably cut this, yeah, I'm gonna cut the smaller one down too. Oh, ho, ho. Let's, uh, let's see if I can't fix this issue. Yeah, it's not going to work. Um... Well, farming simulator, fix that. Giant software, fix that. I should probably cut these two tr Yeah, I'll do it. Screw it. I just realized something. This is really good farming land right through here. Well, except for that rock. But this rock I'll have to... Oh, that's going to be a pain. That's going to cost a lot of money too. <clears throat> I'll figure something out about that rock. Just not right now. We might have to farm around that rock, honestly. Now cut this small tree down. Okay. Got about 10 minutes left of recording here. Okay, we'll see if we can't. I'm going to try and get one more load out before I 
in this recording for today. There we go. What's going on here? Oh, that's the top of this tree. I got a few small trees that I gotta get now. Oh well. Man, there's, I don't really mess with the smaller trees for the simple fact, you know, that it just, it's so time consuming. Then you got to find all the small trees that you just cut down. It's, it's just so monotonous. And so tedious. Um, let's see right here. Alright, now then we should be able to load up these last few big logs over here, and then from there we, see there's always one that you miss, and that's what I hate about messing with these smaller logs, is you always miss one.
there. Now we got all the small ones out of the way. Grab that, lift, now if y'all want to see like different maps, uh, just let me know in the comments, um, Otherwise, I will probably just continue to do my live stream. I might do a few live streams, but I'm not going to do them as often as I do the videos because the videos are just, in my mind, they're just a lot easier to do the videos. The live streams, I, I thought they were easier for a minute, but then I forgot how easy it actually is to do a video. That way you don't have to worry about, you know who's watching and I don't really get very many views on my you know live streams whereas on the videos I usually get more you know views and whatnot and people actually watch the videos the live streams nobody really seems to watch that so There we go. Now we're completely loaded up on the rear end of this tractor. <clears throat> so. Let's go look so this and then we'll we'll leave the video there. But we're gonna go see how much we can make off of this. Man, this isn't a bad load. It's just a lot of smaller stuff in there. So we'll... I don't know how much we'll end up making off of it because the smaller stuff is... There's a lot of the smaller stuff and... I don't know. The bigger stuff is what takes... You know, is what actually makes the money. The smaller stuff is just kind of there. Ninety-four fifty-two, ninety-nine thousand four hundred sixty-two dollars. Oh, can't really do much with that right now. Cause if I'm correct, let's see, smaller tractor. Yeah, that'll only bring us up to twenty-seven, twenty-eight thousand. 
And for the tractor that we need, the next tractor. Um, for the next tractor that allows us to, yeah, we need 49,500, so we don't have nearly enough right now. Um, but we do have enough for... We do have enough for that, so... Or, well, there was another... Disc here, I think it was. Oh, it was a power hero. We'll see the speed difference. That's nine. Where's the power hero? Is seven. I do like my speed, but I also like. We're gonna go with the power hero. And if we ever need to get a little bit more horsepower out of it, we can. Wait, what does it say? Yeah, we're not gonna rent it, we're gonna actually buy it. Chrome. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna buy that. And in the next episode, we will start to uh we'll start probably we'll do another load of vlogs and we're gonna try and clear out an area we might have to yeah we're gonna have to save up probably two more loads of logs so we can get the uh stump grinder and then we should be able to get into some actual farming work after that well, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like button down below if you have. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.